Dr. Quinn in the house. So we're talking plastic surgery, and the obvious question is, uh, you know, you pick these topics. Why are we talking about this today? Well, I mean, when people hear plastic surgery in 2024, they, they think about vanity. And a perfect example, I had a patient just a few days ago, and she had a finger that was contracted. She couldn't raise her finger, and it, it hurt. And I, I share with her that I'm going to refer you to a plastic surgeon. And the first thing she asked me, she said, Dr. Quinn, are you saying I need a BBL? I'm like, Wait a, we're talking about your finger right now. But, but I shared that plastic surgery has so many uh, benefits medically for so many people. Like for this particular patient, I've referred other patients and they'll do a procedure where they can release that, that contraction and her finger is functional. But also people that have suffered burns or maybe have back and neck pain from enlarged breast, you know, breast reduction, and it just goes on and on, even to the point of saving a person's life that might have skin cancer, and plastic surgery can be done where they can remove the cancer before it spreads. So plastic surgery is not just for cosmetic procedures. Yeah, I think most people think it's only done to, you know, generally the face or a certain other area. But really, yeah. it's something that, like you said, for burn victims, it, it it's, can be very important. And it's something that uh, can be not, I wouldn't say mandatory, but it would be something that, you know, it would behoove you to do it. Oh, it's a good medical option. I mean, I even had plastic surgery. I remember I used to have a, a muscle that was over my eyebrow and it was very hypertrophic where when I got nervous, it would just contract and that eyebrow would go up. And everybody make fun of me and they'd say, you look like you're an inspector. And it really happened when I did the news. Well, one of my colleagues that was a plastic surgeon asked me to meet him in his office. He said, I'm gonna fix that eyebrow. And he injected Botox into that eyebrow. So when I do the news now, that that eye, that eye did just shoot up like the rock, you know, the the the, the movie star. And, and, and I'm more calm and relaxed and I'm more confident. And, and these are some of the things that plastic surgery can be used for to just help people that really need that medical help. Obviously, there's shows like Botched or, or you know, there's obviously things that people see when it comes to plastic surgery and, oh, you know, that person doesn't look good anymore. But you're trying to get the point across. It's not just about the looks. I mean, there, there are some real medical needs into this. Oh, yeah, most definitely. I mean, a perfect example is I did a segment on WJTV on one of my patients. He came in for a physical. Everything was great with the guy. But, you know, during the physical, I saw something on his back that just didn't look right. So I said, I'm going to refer you to my friend, Dr. Dodie Jackson at Premier Plastic Surgery. He went to his appointment, and it turned out he had skin cancer. They did a uh, excision, and, and they sent it to the pathological uh, laboratory, and it was determined it was an aggressive type of cancer. And had it have not been picked up early and removed by the plastic surgeon, they told him it very well would have possibly spread and it could have taken his life. And, and it, it was so cool because he said, Dr. Quinn always has my back because it was on his back. <laughs> but the take home is plastic surgery can actually save your life.